Hi, Scorpio. This is Jess with your May 10th to the 31st, 2018 career and money talk. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So, Scorpio, remember the days when you couldn't get someone to give you something to save your life? Like you couldn't depend on other people to give you anything. And it it seemed hard pressed for others to kind of lend to you or be there for you or do for you. And you kind of felt like you didn't know which way to go. You didn't know what to do, right? And then you came up with an idea and you worked and you worked and you worked and you worked. And you grew that idea into a level of abundance. Now, some of you are saying, what? That's not me. This is for those, the other Scorpios. And you grew it. And I do see for some of you, you have got to take on that same understanding, that same energy. There may be some changes, some events that is going to take place in your career sector that you will have to lend back to the days when all you can count on was the Lord up above and your movements forward. Okay? You've got to go after the things that you want. You're going to be met with people who are going to work at a very slower pace than you. That's not going to perhaps, they may come off as though they don't want what you want. And it's not true. It's not that they don't want what you want. It's just that they know that in order for it to stay the way that you that they would want it to stay, for it to matter, you've got to take it step by step by step. So definitely, if you feel as though there is some form of um, inner knowing, right, that you know, this is going to work for me, I'm going to do this, go after it, okay, go after it. But understand that it's going to take a lot, it's going to take a lot longer. If you're expecting others to match your energy, you will be disappointed. People are not going to match your energy the way you want them to. People are not going to work as fast. They're not going to, um, the, the energy just won't match. You will feel like you want things yesterday and people will be willing to give it to you maybe in a week, maybe, probably a month. So just expect that. Don't expect everything to come your way and everything to work out the way it, that you think it's going to work. You feel like, okay, I, I put my plan in place. I have all my documents. This is how it normally works. So this is how it's going to work, right? No, because now Uranus is going to be in town in your seventh house. And it's going to be communicating to you that however you were dealing with people in the past isn't going to work. It's not going to work. So. People are going to be doing things on their own sort of way, which opposes the way that you want things done. Keep in mind that I said that as far as career and money. That being said, I do see in the workplace, there's going to be the situation where you guys feel as though you needed to settle a situation. Something needed to be settled. Something needs to be evaluated and you need to depart from things that no longer serve you in the work in, in environment. You're trying to decide, do I continue to work this way? Do I continue to run my business this way? What do I need to do to add to, because you may feel like you've plateaued as far as your business is concerned. If you have your own business, you may feel like you've plateaued if you're the own, if you're working at a job, like this is all it is. No, I want more. What can I do to get more? And you may feel as though you don't have any limitations at this time. Okay. Um, and you're able to depart from anything that you've that you've that held you back. OK, uh, so you need to definitely move forward. You've evaluated long enough. You've sat on the fence long enough. You may have waited for other people long enough. Now you've got to put things in place and understand that at the right time. Now, now you, you know how it is. It's like, well, I have to go to the bank. OK, well, you go to the bank and then. You may need to op you may get a need to get a credit card. Okay, well I'm I'm gonna go down there, I'm gonna get my credit card and I'll have my credit card today. You, well you get down there, they run your background check. Well in fact you don't get your credit card because you need to prove some more you need to give them more information, right? They need more documentation, um a certain way and rules and regulations that you have to follow and it's a process. And you thought it will be wham bam bam and done. Well no. And so the fact that you initiated it 
was great because your mind said, you know, I need to do these things. Let me go do them. But take in mind that whatever you're initiating, it's going to be a process. Okay. So with your work environment, if you're looking for work, you may find that you've got to, you may find that you're going back to a place that you wasn't even happy with. You may find that you're doing something that you're really not happy. Like you really don't want to do this thing, but it's like, this is what's making money for me. But it's a time, it's an opportunity now for you to start saying this, I can do this differently. I can depart from this situation. I may have to start from the bottom and work my way up, but I can depart from this thing that I don't want to do anymore, okay? And I do feel like some of you are going to be seeing things differently. You'll take on a bit of a different belief system, okay? And there will be this new beginning for you guys in career and finance, but it's going to take, it'll be a step-by-step process, this new beginning for you guys. So just keep that in mind. New beginning on offer, you will be very confused and challenged as far as what this is. You won't have that concrete um, understanding of what it is. Throughout May, you'll feel conflicted, okay? But there will be this inner knowing, inner knowing of, I know I have to do this, I know I have to do that. So there's going to be some things that'll be confusing for you, but then there'll be some things that's very clear. And those are going to be the things that you need to kind of go after with vigor, okay? The things that are not as clear, then you need to take one step at a time and you need to embrace the fact that It'll come when it needs to come, but I'm going to do the first, first, first step and then complete that and go to the very next step. But the other things that you know deep down inside that this situation is what I need to do, you need to go ahead and do those things. Now, I know you're saying, well, how does that work with career? Are you talking about career finance now? I am, but I'm also speaking in a general sense too, because it's kind of coming up strongly, but in a career finance aspect, um, yeah, you need to put your resumes out and look for jobs. You're looking for work for a job. Know that it may come in slower than you think. Some of you, you're going to get a job opportunity. And as soon as you get it, it's off the table. Like you get an offer and then either you say, no, thank you. Or they say, and actually, we're not going to give you the job. Okay. But then you're working someplace else. Whatever gets cut out of your life and you feel like, oh, wow, I thought I thought that I was going to have that and now I don't have it. And in the last week of May, there will be or for some of you, there will be an end to a job. You will lose your job. Some of you will be you and two other people that will lose a job and you will start to feel very conflicted and restrained as if you don't know exactly what your next steps are going to be. You may already know that I'm getting ready to lose my job. My job is about to end. I don't have another job. What am I going to do? And then literally perhaps the last, you know, couple of days of May or going into June, you'll find that you have a job. It may take a whole three weeks. So this month will be a twist and a turn, okay, of like, wow, I got an opportunity. Well, no, I didn't get an opportunity. That didn't work. And then it's like in a three week period, you get another job, okay? Two week to three week period, you'll get another job. So whatever is, is you're losing, another opportunity is coming after that. And I know I said that to you guys earlier in the month, so it's just echoing the same sentiment. Um, so now, or there'll be some disappointment. If there's some disappointment at the workplace, disappointment with your particular business, losing a client, uh, you'll get two more clients, okay? Uh, you'll replace whatever you lose it, it'll be replaced, right? Now, your finances, I would say be very conservative with finances. Your finances are coming to you in a way that you're going to be able to feel like you're no longer stuck and bound in a situation. You're going to start to move forward in things. Like you have to address some unfinished issues. It could be with family. It could be a family situation that you have to address an unfinished energy or issue with another person that took you and that person off of um, scope as far as your relationship is concerned. It has something to do with money. Okay. And now it's just all about doing what's right. You know, um, your, your relationship is, is, to, is to crap with this whole situation with money, but now you're going to do what's right. Right. And I feel that 
you may find that, hey, I'm going to start making more money so I can pay off my debts and I can kind of get my ducks in a row. This is a time to kind of get your ducks in a row, Scorpio, because when cancer season comes in, you'll find that everything that has been kind of feeling like things are just not going your way and you're making all this effort and everything is going so slow, it'll start to just flow naturally. And every step, all of those, um, all of those intentions or all of those actions that you started in the groundwork that you laid down everything was still you just start seeing everything start to come in place and everything is going to start coming together when we get into another two months which is in july okay uh so be conservative with your money money will be coming in if you have your own business i do feel like someone may want to patronize you and then they say no but then even if you lose uh, if you if someone says they don't want it after all, then you get two more people that do want it. So wherever you get a loss, it's like you get even a double gain. Okay. Uh, but be very conservative with your finances. I feel like you don't want to gamble at this time. You you want to be very safe and conservative with the monies that you have. Um, you may want to rush out and do something, but definitely use your intuition as best as possible. Uh, as far as like, is this the best thing that I should do? And be very conscious about, you know, messages that you hear, um, advice that you hear. Okay. Cause not, you may be running off of idea and thought and not your intuition. Okay. Which can kind of, um, you know, that, that can, that can backfire on you. So yes, go after the things that you want, but take some time to research, take some time to evaluate before you just rush off and do something. Okay. Cause I just get like, this is a month to kind of be patient financially, be very patient and let the month kind of pan out because there's some, some endings, some things that's cutting off that you're going to need to wait before everything kind of comes back full circle the way you want it to be. So that's what I have for you guys for the uh, remainder of May, as far as your career and finance is concerned, like I said, new beginnings, which will be yet another new beginning. So two new beginnings before it's all said and done. Um, and again, I, I, it's not all said and done, but you know what I mean? Before um, you can kind of settle in on something, patience will be necessary. It will, it will be it will behoove you to get a head start on patience because you'll get there by the last week of May, you'll become patient. So if you can get a head start on being patient and kind of tempering your steps, um, you can avoid a lot of unforeseen circumstances that will be a bit challenging and disappointing for you if you just charge ahead without really going within and making sure that it, it all makes sense. So that's what I have for you guys at the uh, the remainder of May. If you like to let us know how this resonated with you, please do so in the comment section below. You know, I love to hear from you. If you would like something personal with me, I can be reaching the beginning and into this video. And if you are new to this channel, welcome and subscribe because I will be back very soon with another one. Take care, Scorpio.